Hey, 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 what is going on? Welcome to today's business strategy video. My name is Casey Everhart, and first off, let me just say, if you and I don't know each other, thank you for spending a couple of minutes today. Today, we're gonna talk about the real estate professional. And if you sell something to real estate professionals, I'm gonna share a story on how uh, I learned this lesson the hard way. But uh, I'm gonna share with you a very simple way to sell to real estate professionals and how to not ever sell anything to a real estate agent and have them literally slam the door in your face. And if this tip helps you uh, keep the door open to real estate professionals, then Huzzah! We win. So, uh, again, my name is Casey. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I run a business coaching, training, accountability mastermind program called the Platinum Inner Circle, where we are committed to help our entrepreneurs produce extraordinary results in their business. So, before we get started on today's tip, uh, if you have a struggle in follow-up and you want to uh, improve that skill set in whatever company you're with, or your particular company, um, head over to cashflowwithkc.com. I wrote a, a 20 step guide to um, bettering your Facebook, uh, I'm sorry, bettering your follow up. Uh, so uh, that's free. You just go tell me where to send it. I'm happy to, happy to do that for you. So cashflowwithkc.com. Okay, so let's start with a little story, okay? Uh, I, I am a speaker and I travel around the world. Well, before this all this whole mess started, I traveled around the world and I taught networking and really helped people develop a skill set in networking, right? So I got asked to speak at a, um, a real estate professional association, okay? So this was a giant group of real estate professionals, okay? And so I go there, I'm, I'm all excited, and I had a product or a service. I had a service that I was selling to real estate agents at the time, okay? I still do, um, but I learned this valuable lesson in the Wayback Machine, okay? So here's what happened. I go, I start my presentation, right? I'm up there, and I'm doing my little thing, and I'm dancing around, and I'm having a good time, and I continuously for, refer to these people um, as realtors or realtors, okay? And there were three syllables. So I was I was really real a uh, tour. Okay? That's how I was pronouncing it. Okay? Here's what happened. The promoter of the entire event, I think there were a couple hundred people there. Um, the promoter of the event actually breaks into my presentation. And I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And he says, Case, hey, just so you know, we are not referred to as realtors. We are actually members of the National Association of Realtors. It's actually two syllables, real tour, okay? Um, and we need to stop talking about realtors, okay? So I jokingly pretended I didn't really hear him and I was making fun of it and I continued to call him realtors. Well, essentially, I'll break the story down for you. He kicked me off stage, okay? It was the most embarrassed I've been in a long time and I couldn't figure out like what was the big deal until I actually started talking to some of these guys and gals out in the hotel lobby. And turns out that they hate with a passion being called realtors because that's not the name of them. They are realtors, okay? Now I tell you this for a very specific purpose. This seems like a small nuance, but here's the deal. If you are going to sell to a particular group of people or invite them to look at your product, good, or service, you should have a fundamental understanding of what they call themselves, how to pronounce it, and um, kind of some of their lingo or their language, right? So what I, what I learned that day was that Realtor was a very valuable thing to that group of people. So I get on this kick sometimes, and, and it's sometimes a bit weird, but every time I talk to somebody and they use Realtor, I know it's not bad, it's not their, they just, they don't know. But if you sell stuff to the real estate world, get really good. If you, if you refer to them as Realtors, and I don't even care if your Realtor refers to themselves as Realtors, I'm telling you, go ask a bunch of them. Nine out of 10 people will tell you they are a board Realtor, and what happens is when somebody calls them a realtor, they know that person is on the outside. They know that person is not one of them. 
If you want to crack that code and be able to talk on the inside, then get good at speaking your prospect's potential language. Certainly know something like this. It is not realtor. I wish I had my red pen with me. Ah, here we go. We'll actually do this. This is so powerful. We're going to put this through this and mark this all up. They are realtors. Okay. Now, again, I know that I put the thing in here about realtors, but even like you're going to sell stuff to uh, car lots, right? It could be simple as going into a car dealership. And if you say to the car dealership, Hey, how many ups did you have yesterday? Well, an up is their lingo for a walk up or a walk in or walk in business. If you start using that language, hey, how many how many ups did you have last week? They know that you know what you're talking about. Same deal with this. So here's the deal. Start referring to realtors as realtors. Hey, let me just ask you, if you are in the real estate world and you believe or you know that uh, this is correct, would you drop a comment in below? I just want everybody to be able to see that we speak your language and we speak to you in the way that you want to be spoken to. So uh, I love working with real estate agents. They are some of my favorite people. I'm an investor. I love working in real estate. Um, so if you're a real estate agent, I'd love to connect with you as well. If you're a realtor, if you're a realtor, I know you're not really going to stick around much longer. So you guys, I hope this helps. So just take, take stock of noticing. Do you say realtor or realtor? Do you say realtor? Get really good at saying realtor. Trust me on this one. Okay? And then if you need some help with follow-up, don't forget, go to cashflowwithcasey.com. It's a pretty easy website. There's no big sales pitch on there. It's just my way of helping out. I'm happy to help. If there's anything I can do to help you grow your business, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm pretty dang good at getting in and finding and uncovering revenue streams for pretty much any business. So with that, you guys have an amazing day. Now go give a realtor a great day by actually calling them a realtor. We'll see you next time, guys. Ciao.